this is I've got a muscle on. I'm in a really bad spot, aren't I? Nothing. Okay. There's a fishing line on there, is there? Alright. Massive headache. Nothing. See what happens. Do this and we'll go do some boats, I think. Haven't done boats for a while. Um, I'm on the 722 in SK. I've got a 2000 size in X reel with six pound braid, six pound litre. So I've only got about an hour and ten minutes before I have to go to work, so I'm just gonna stay close to the um I'm just gonna stay close to the ramp. I've got a really good parking spot right on the edge of the ramp. So what I'm doing here, I'm just sinking it straight down. As you can see, the current's pushing me in a little bit. Oh that felt like a tap then. I got a salmon here doing this the other day when I wound back in to cast again. So just be mindful of that. For the first 10 seconds I thought it was a really good brim. Okay, we'll try and do that little. So the problem with that is there's nothing under it. Check you. No, can't do so this uh, it's about 10 meters. So I I don't know if I'm using a light or a heavy. I really can't tell. But but I'd definitely suggest using a heavy muscle. Jeez, a bit, a bit harsh, isn't it? Lock jaw, eh? Lock jaw. Yeah, it's going to be hard to do pontoons with this, the tie this low. I don't think I'm going to have a chance. It's alright though. I'd rather do something with a pole on the end of it so they've got a little bit more structure. Is there another one here? No, there's not. So there's only three good, and this will actually go in. This would be really good. This will go into the structure instead of away. Oh, that 
dropped on the road. Okay, that dropped now. Going too far away from the structure, so need a bit more of a fucking accurate car. Maybe just a quiet day fishing. Thought I'd have a fish by now. Maybe you should have went to. I always try and do burrowing here because it's closer to the mouth and if they're spawning they're going to go out to deeper water and that's the first well it's not the first sorry it's the second bay this would be the last place that they'd go after they spawn because it's the furthest bay away but we keep persisting in this cold weather with our thongs that socks on before but my feet got a bit wet so be all right Oh, got it. Okay, get back in here. Okay. Alright fish, that fell off the thing. Come and eat it. That fell off the pole. Come and eat it. The only thing I don't like is you, how close you are to the, the angle that you'd be fighting the fish on if you hook up. Oh, that's a tip wrap. Off. No, it's not. Oh no, that's off now, isn't it? That's terrible. Should have made, made, managed the line better. All right. Yes, yeah, so I did get a new kayak. For those asking, um, I haven't put it. I haven't. I'm not going to use it until I get my um, just a cover for my roof racks because my roof racks actually leave a mark on the kayak and I don't want to leave a mark on the newer one for at least the first month or two so we'll go to that one and that will be it I think trouble did it again Terrible man. Maybe somewhere these fish, don't they? Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is cast. Okay. Alright. That's a bit better. So is a fish. If I hook a fish, I'm gonna Go away, birds. Birds are not birds, they're ducks, but silly. Can't believe we can get a fish there. That was terrible. I'm sort of regretting coming out already. I thought I'd get some off the marina. The other marina's fishing well. Ah, take me an extra 15 minutes to get there. It's actually. All right, let's just swap over. Uh, what are we gonna throw? I might throw this. So I've got a stick. Uh, I've got a stick minnow on as well. So it. Let me just check. Shimmies. Shimmies alright. Alright. This is a 722 as well. Okay, just gotta get the it's 
So I've got a, I've got two 722s. I've actually ordered another one. So I just want one for a muscle, one for a baby vibe, one for a stick minnow. And then I'll have one 610 for structure, like tight structure, like I'm talking racks or whatever. And then a 73 for summer, summer, but when they're when they're biting on surface with a bent minnow. Terrible cast. It was about a foot out. So we'll be stocking these stick minnows in the near future. So look out for them. There are 38 mil they actually shimmer on the drop like that you, know, you can see that shimmer on the drop not a lot to them you just cast them out good to run them on straight through so you get a vertical fall or vertical drop and they don't like you know the weight of the fluorocarbon should help it sink vertically uh, terrible cast the only thing i really doesn't suit my style of fishing that well because i'm I'm a bit impatient when it comes to waiting for a lure to hit the bottom. Okay, that's a great cast, so I'll take the time out to let that one sink properly. Give it a little bit of slack line. Watch the line because you'll see it actually straighten and then take off. But the tide's really not that good for fishing pontoons. Mmm, disappointed me. Let's look at it, look at it. It was, it was about a foot deep. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Don't even worry. All right, I'll swap over. Thanks to Dye Australia for servicing my reel. Um, they really went out of their way to look after me. It's an absolute treasure for me, that reel. It's just someone someone dear to my heart bought it for me and I, I'll always want to use it. So people say to me, why aren't you using the latest and greatest? Well, sentimental value is the reason. That's better. Now I feel more comfortable. It's amazing, like you fish and other stuff, and then you you put a baby vibe on, and immediately, like you just feel confident. I haven't got the other seven two two, so I'm fishing this on a six ten. Ideally, seven two two is a much better rod for vibes, and even the seven three is really good as well. Good. All right, perfect. All right, they should be hard up on the bottom. So I'm just going to let this sink a little bit more. Just see. It's coming towards. Like I'm not moving and I'm actually like pushing forward. You've seen me catch fish on this boat many, 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 many times. And the reason is there's a little weed flat here and once the tide is right they should move on to the boats out here and this is the first boat so the lazy fish are going to come onto this one first well not really the lazy fish but fish are going to come onto that one first find their spot and then the others are going to you know spread out there's got to be a reason for uh, fish going on a particular boat and that's I think it's growth on the boat I think it's position and I think it's the type of boat as well one that provides the most cover so this should be all right I reckon uh, geez I got it 
don't know. Might, might cast that out again. Just not close enough. It's about a metre, but if the tide is going that way. Alright, so when you're fishing boats, the best thing to do is have cast at the front, middle and back just to see where they're sitting because if they're not like cause it's, it's a fair bit of distance and they could be sitting anywhere but try and crack a pattern on where they're sitting and then try and cast to that spot first because usually if they're at the front they'll be in the front of most of the boats a bit, a bit slow yeah. Um, what are we going to do? Yeah, so there was a vent at George's River. Fish were biting on, I think, Russell Babacool one on crabbies. I think he got one fish on a mussel. Um, Jason Marshall got second, I think, from what I heard. He fish cranker crabs. Um, and Tony Petty came third. I'm not sure what he fished, but he's a hurricane sponsored angler, so it would have been a hurricane product of some sort. Yeah, but I think winning weight was 4.4 kilos. We actually had um, the Hobie crew do a pro lure presentation at the shop where Luke Kay spoke and you can actually um, listen to that talk he gives away some really 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 good secrets about oh it's gonna be over that rope isn't it didn't see it okay um, gives away some really good um, secrets about how he goes about fishing and how he presents lures and what lures he uses, what weight jig it. So I'll leave a link to that video. And you can check that one out. Invaluable info. He's actually spoken before Luke and it was um, one of my most popular YouTube videos. So that's, oh that's fine. The only real is that rope. On the mooring low. Yeah, should be alright. Um, the only lure I really give a bit of a tweak to is the baby vibe because I want the rattles to make that noise. Which I think, and I've said it many, many times, it's like a prawn clicking and it'll give it'll bring attention to the lure and they'll come and find it. Terrible. Gee, that was the worst cast of the day so far. See if we can get a nice big splash. Oh my god. Uh, disappointed so far, but I haven't got much time either. Alright, so I'm just going to start moving a bit quicker. Definitely no... F oh, I've got one bite. Uh, not many fish on these boats. Yeah, so also I was asked a question about the Hobie links when I put up a post on Facebook and you know I'd like to answer it here as well. So the reason I get a links as opposed to a kayak with more storage, more weight, is just convenience for me. Like I have a young family that plays sports on the weekend. Um, I have a 
my own business where I need to be there. I'm the only one that works there. I want, on the odd occasion I'm not, but I'm not there, but <laughs> it's just so easy to manage, maintain. I will not put a sounder on here for those asking. It's just one more thing that I have to worry about when it comes to my fishing. I fish a lot of structure and I just, I don't want to sit there and have to charge a sounder, worry about putting the head unit on, looking at the sounder, like, I know you've probably seen a few videos of like, I, I, I cast it boats that there's no fish on because I don't have a live scope and I can't see that. I'm okay with that. Like for me, it's just time. Actually, I might just loosen that a little bit because we're not in the we're not in the marina anymore. There's only a touch. Oh, we, we need to get forward, mate. Forward. That's right, forward. I can't say that <laughs> wasn't an accurate cast, can you? How about a fish though? Rewarded with a fish? I've been taking my son out a little bit and every time he does a really, really good cast, accurate cast, he, he, he thinks that he deserves a fish and he should get a fish and he feels really hard done by. So I'd probably take away that even though you're casting really accurately, you don't always get rewarded. It's life lesson anyway, isn't it? You might work really hard, but you don't always get rewarded. Alright. Let's see if we can get a reaction by it. Don't roll we rolling for Oh my god mate, seriously. Do you even know what you're doing? No. Apparently not. Okay. Horrendous cast, man. I got a really good fish off here the other day. Not in the back of the pontoon, it was high tide though. But the cast wasn't that shit, I can guarantee you. Can't wait to have three of the same rod. It's gonna be awesome. The worst headache. Maybe should. Slow my retrieve up because it's winter. Maybe not.
hope you didn't roll. You'll only know when the when you do your first lift. You just want something to smash it. But I'm not sure they're gonna I'm gonna get a, a big a good bite today. Water the water temperature must be really cold. Like it just has to be. Jeez, it's slow. Oh my god. I don't know if that's close enough to be honest. Oh, that's bottom. Don't get too excited. So I want to go, yeah, that's good. Then I want to, please it's slow. This said one big winter blue nose brim would be lovely. I think. It's not looking good, is it? Oh, bloody hell. No, that was pretty weird. Embarrassing. The thing's getting worse, man. Hey, good, good run with the casting. Fucking fish on it. Oh no. Get in the water. Is it in the water? I don't even know. Fuck, should have brought my glass. Yeah, it's in. Oh my god, I've done it again. Like, seriously. Terrible, man. Absolutely terrible. So I've been testing these new hooks that oh my god can't use it eh? I've been 
I don't know, for those of you who are interested, I've been testing some new hooks uh, from PML. So I've been testing out some new... Oh, he came out for it! Oh my god! He was an absolute... Oh my god, that was the biggest fish I've ever seen. It's bloody seen me now. Oh, shit. That was the biggest brim I've ever seen. Concentrate. something else at it. Could it have been a salmon? Could have been. God. That was absolutely massive. Came out for it too. I don't know if a brim would come out for it. No. Not even. I think that's him. Yeah, it is. Oh, no. I think that's the fish that I didn't. I honestly didn't take enough time with my retrieve on the baby vibe and I just wanted to throw something different at him so I threw a mass I've got really 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 tight drag and he's, he's smashed it he's a good fish I've got a little, I couldn't find my net but he got a live ball net He's a good one. Oh, he's a cracking fish. This is the one that came out and he he wanted the baby vibe and and I just I watched him follow it all the way out. Like at the end of my retrieve. Look at this size of this thing. Oh no. Thanks for wetting me man. Like seriously, you just wet my reel as well. Why he won't wet my, wet my reel? Oh, Jesus. It's not even going to fit in the net. Oh, look at that. Check that thing out. That should provide. Oh, like you tell your son, open the bail arm. Look at this thing. It's a kilo fish every day of the week all right now what i was saying oh that was in my finger no he was never getting out of that what i was saying before was i've got some new i think these are the more the ones aren't they i'll check in a second okay i'm gonna leave you there for a sec bud no 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 don't kick because you might bloody knock my reel in i know i threw my flies in here there This is a massive fish. This is the biggest fish I've seen in a while. Sorry, mate. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Now, just let me double check so I'm not lying. Mm, nah, it's a decoy. Look what he did to the hooks. Smashed it. All right. I have to change that hook. 
All right, so here's the fish. Bloody hell, why don't you bring a ruler, you idiot? It's a massive, it's the biggest fish I've ever seen. Okay, there it is. Look at that. Man, I've got my phone handy too, don't I? Hmm. That's a 40. That's 40 fork, easy. Absolutely easy. I don't even know my password to my phone. Look at that thing. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try and measure him along here. Okay, I'm going to measure him. Oh, no. Going from... Going from that line. So, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, mate, okay. He's going from the Mirage Lynx. Going from that line. And just... Okay. Over to there. Alright, I'll measure that when I get to work. Let's see how big he is. Alright, champion. Got out a bit late today. Coming in there and make coffee. Oh, there's a duck. Might be bait on this side, hopefully. Any bait? Hey. Mate. It's a simple question, mate. Why are you running? All right. A little bit of sun. It's great. Thanks for that. I'd probably be close to 40. It'd be, it'd be over 40 tip, I reckon. I'm just looking at that. Just want to measure it. I'll measure it later. Okay, it's good. Excellent. Two good casts in a row. Jesus, mate. Feeling all right? Oh, that's beautiful, that sun. Probably not going to be good for video. I think. Gotta make sure you drag set correctly. I think that's one of the best things that I did on that other fish. I had it really, really tight. See, he, he really didn't take much drag because he didn't have it. If I um, let him have it, he would have just smashed me into the back of that pontoon and then poles and all that stuff there. I'd like to watch that back, to be honest. Should be, should be good. I never. I never felt like I wasn't going to get him. But the only other the, the other thing is, like you catch one fish, you want to catch you know a couple of fish when you go out, not just one. Ooh. See what that is. Let's see what that is. Okay. All right. It's nice to go to work after you've caught a really big fish. You feel like you've achieved something before you go to work. Oh no, oh no, he's only little. Oh, he's not that little. Well, he's little compared to, um, he's little compared to that thing I got before. I don't even take a drag. He'll fit in the net, how about that? I'll put it that way. He's got some go. 
really good cast. Oh no. I'm not even gonna. Oh, come on, man. Okay. I'll just take this one straight off, I think. He's a baby. Okay, little baby. Been alright though. Okay, good. That's good. I wanted to catch more than one fish. These, I'm testing some new hooks on this um, on this baby vibe. I did have one on the one on that muscle, and then I had a decoy. So I had one of the new hooks and then one of the decoys. I was just changing a few hooks last night, and it only needed one, so I didn't change it. I wanted to try and get a like a really good fish on these new hooks just to see if they straighten or how they went but he ate the wrong hook so I have caught I have caught some really good fish on them though I just haven't got them on video 34 I think I've got a 34 forker on them didn't straighten so We shall see. Okay. Be off to work in 15 20 minutes. I'll be at work. Oh my god. If anyone wants to um if anyone wants to come and feel an SK with a reel on it. I'll have them at work today. Okay, a couple more cars, and they're done. A few more pontoons, maybe three, I reckon. Green fishing makes me happy. Unlike the bloody state of origin last night, that was didn't make me happy. Oh my god! Got a rope there though. Nothing. Be careful of them rails. There's rails there. All right. Got the back arm. The good thing is I've got the back arm camera as well. So I'm slowly learning how to use, edit the video footage with two cameras. Hopefully it's something a little bit different. See the back of my head a bit more. Alright, I'll, I'll take a little bit of time on this one. That moved a lot, actually. Alright, rushed a bit there. A bit deep for me. It's probably in three metres, that one. Okay. Terrible cast. Wreck the cast then. Jeez. So Probably what I want you want people to learn from that is if you if you've got a, a favourite pontoon or a favourite piece of structure, if you don't get a good cast in and you stuff it or you get the, the lure stuck on the pontoon, it's such a it's such a how do I say it? it's such a problem. What happened there? 
it's ah, geez. it's a it's a really 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 bad oh my god Okay, you need an accurate cast. Accurate cast, half the battle. I stuffed up that pontoon there because I, I did a, a cast that was probably a foot and a half out from where I wanted it to go. It just can't be that far out, especially in winter. They're not going to move far to eat the lure. Anyway, I'm happy. One. One fish was, uh, you know, in my top ten this year of big fish, and one bubba. Ah, oh, missed it again. Okay, missing it by. Okay, so next tip is if you cast it onto the pontoon, just feather it off the pontoon so that it just drops straight down. And that's about it. That's all she wrote today, I think. So what I've learnt today is, or what you can take away from today, will be... One more cast. What you can take away from today is, if you, if you see a fish follow your lure out, and if the lure it followed the baby by about when I was retrieving it for the next cast which was really fast if you see that happen you can throw the same lure in and see if it eats it but what I suggest is you throw a different lure in at the same fish to give him something to look at something different to look at the other thing that I've learned today is that a 722SK will get really big fish out of structure without an issue so i i know i i know i it's a terrible car you know i rattle on about the 722 sk i've got two i ordered another one for myself yesterday especially in winter i think it's it's going to be a really really good advantage for me to have three rods that i and fish structure with and then I can throw vibes, stick minnows and baby vibes. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'll leave it there. If, um, if you've got any questions put them in the comments below um, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next one. Give you a look at that hook actually. That's that hook. We can't see that well. Alright, have a great great day, great weekend, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers guys.